hey, there's a thing up there. I need the thing because it's up there. How do I get it? I think I know. This is the place I got to, the Sunlight Altar, by um, descending a ladder while I was running away from one million men. So if I climb the ladder and then fight all of those men, uh, I reckon I'll be able to get that item. Sounds good. Uh -huh. Man one. 999,999 to go. That wasn't actually such a big deal. Uh, there's... Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> I remembered there were crossbow men here, right? I was like, where are they? And then they shot me and I found out. It is stopped. Okay, that was relatively straightforward. Be wary of trio, therefore try projectile. Indeed. Um, am I on the right part of the roof? I am. It's a titanite chunk. This seems good. Did I miss anything else while I was up here? Maybe. Ah, oh, so that ladder is another way up to the area. Um... Been over there, been in here. Anywhere to drop down to? Not really, not unless I want to die, essentially. Cool. Ish. What's that at the end there? A window or a door? Oh, they're windows. Not breakable ones either. Cool. Let's ladder down and ladder on out. So where do I want to go next? There was something that looked like another boss fight fog door. I wonder if it's possible to summon Cirrus for that as well. She wasn't actually particularly helpful against the Dragon Slayer armor. Like, I basically only beat it um, once I let her die and then properly learned how to dodge the enemy's attacks. So... But she's cool, right? So I might summon her just on the basis that she's cool. I'm not actually looking for help with the bosses here. I can just fight them, although it's very difficult. But I can do it eventually. It's... I saw another item. Where was it? There's the ladder. I, I remember seeing something. Oh, the dragon! That's what I'm missing. How do I get down there? Maybe another one of Cirrus's gifts. Yeah, I knew I'd missed something. Let's try on the silver cat ring. Oops, that's not the silver cat ring. Let's find and then equip the silver cat ring, which prevents damage from falling. Oh, here we go. Shit. Cool. Shit cool. Here we are. Unfortunately, whatever the dragon dropped is now gone forever. But at least I can take this soul of a crestfallen knight. Not a super big deal. There must be another way into this area, because how do you get out otherwise? Here we are. There's a chest, or is it? No, it's not. God damn. I hate you already. At least I'm using an s dog. It's like the perfect anti-mimic weapon because you just... Oh wait, no it's not. It's the weapon that's got me killed several times against mimics that makes me greedy and then they grab me. I'm like, I can keep attacking it again and again. And then it's like, oh, that happens! That is what happens! That's what I was fucking afraid would happen to me. Fucking mimics. Okay, I've still got the silver cat ring on. I do. Let's go down there again. <sighs> right. Or rather, forwards. I. Whatever is in this treasure chest, do I really want it badly enough? Uh, uh, that attack. 
I don't know why I'm so bad at particularly... Well, it's the sponge of his legs. You get caught in them, right? If you're in front of him while fighting him. And you're not far back enough because you're, for example, using a melee weapon to attack. Then you can't actually get to the left or right. So he'll be doing the grab and you'll see, oh, it's the wind up. And you'll just move left or right or try and roll left or right. And you won't go anywhere and you'll get grabbed and you'll die. So you have to kind of stay at range, kind of, and just... And it feels so needless because they're mostly weak. Sunlight Street Sword. I remember that weapon. I loved that one in Dark Souls 2. And Braille Divine Tome of Lothric. I had been... At one point in time I was hoping for more tomes. Uh, how do I get out? Silver Cat. Cool. I don't know if I particularly care about tomes now. Well, I might as well go give this one to Irina for old time's sake. <laughs> Still not summoning Egon. Some sort of furrow was torn here. I still don't know what the Dragon Slayer armor was or understand anything about it. But I technically don't need to. Thankfully, the bonfire it dropped is very convenient for whatever comes next, uh, even if it's that other boss looking thing behind it. Okay, I've got plenty of um, souls to buy miracles. What's the description of the Braille Divine Tome of Lothric? What's Lothric, right? A sacred Braille Tome from Lothric, filled with miracles for use by knights. Give to a storyteller to learn Lothric miracles. No paladin inside Lothric Castle could fall owing to the divine protection they enjoyed. Fall in what sense? Hmm. Oh, Champion of Ash. Welcome back. Hello. Has she been blinded to... Do you wish to hear a tale? To... Oh, you've brought me a braille divine tome. Yep. Now I can tell new tales of miracles. Yes, please. Tales of the greater miracles can be quite the epics. I've got all day. <laughs> I'm glad she enjoys it. It's nice to have somebody enjoying something. Bountiful light. Gradually restore HP. Cool. Magic barrier. And only 15 faith to use it. That could be good. Blessed weapon. Again only 15 faith. Okay. I might actually want to use that. These are dark tales of Chromium. Ah, yeah, no, she's saying she doesn't These want to learn the other the miracles. Little... That's fine. Thank you ever so much, sweet champion. May your solemn duty conclude in triumph. Oh, I'm pretty sure it will be a triumph for somebody. So, um, maybe. We'll have to see about that. <laughs> okay, I'm going to buy a couple of points of attunement, if I can afford them. I'm going to buy a point Welcome of attunement. Very well. then take no. There it is. Can I scrounge together 6,000 souls for another one? Farewell, Ash. Yes, but it wouldn't give me another attunement slot, so there's no point. Well, anyway, let's attune. Blessed Weapon. This seems cool. I'm using a right-handed weapon and a left-handed catalyst, so... Oh, yes. That looks cool as hell. Attack power, right weapon 1, 329. Whereas if it's not blessed... What's my attack power? Oh, it's still blessed. I guess I'll better actually travel back to Lothric Castle. And let it wear off and find out. Does it actually increase attack power, or does it just make the weapon, like, holy in some sense? Which could be good for, for example, fighting the undead. It seems like a pain that a, a 15 faith low-level blessing thing was only available this late in the game, though. So that's some kind of progressy area. Back here is what I think was another boss fight. 
306, 329, yeah, plus 23 damage. That's good enough to use. Especially as I can cast it several times. Excellent. Alright, so the summon signs are all gone here. Including Cirrus's sign? Yeah, I am embered, right? I am. Oh, I'm running out of embers since I've been dying so much on bosses recently. Every time I died against champion Gundir, um, I used an ember because the idea of fighting him without that extra health boost seemed unappealing. Huh. Egon's sign is gone too. And there is no fog door here. That's interesting. Try it down. Contraption does not move. Doesn't it? Why not? Time for ore. Treasure ahead. Try down. How? I can't. Screw you. Move, you damned contraption. I want to go down, and yet I can't go up. And... Ah. Oh well. Hey, there's a second way out here, though. Oh, and there's some stuff. Gimme. Rusted coin. Titanite scale. Thank you. Alright. What is outside? There's the bridge I fought the Dragon Slayer armor on, whatever that is. There are the things which... It somehow enlisted one of them to help it. I don't know if they were... Like, the thing was kind of empowered by the armor in some way, I think. Red tear stone ring. That's a pretty solid looking place, isn't it? The architecture there is kind of changing and looking more... I don't know, serious, dramatic. It's a very high bridge, indeed. I wonder if I go through there, can I get up here? I did want high vantage points. There's the forest. There's an outer wall. Huh. Have I been down there? It looks like an area you can go to, doesn't it? Oh, maybe that's the Consumed King's Garden, actually. Look, there's something glowing right down there. I hope it's not a bloodstain I left. Definitely looks like a reachable area. Possibly one I've already been to. Lutheric is a pretty good area. Uh, okay. So, well, I can't use that elevator. Perhaps I'll be able to later. Which leaves me with one way to go. Past the Dragon Slayer armor. And into the bleak part of the castle. Is it the highest point? No. The second highest part of the castle. all this. Why is it all so covered in moss and ruin? It looks more rubbly than the rest of the place, even. Let there be sleep talk? I beg your pardon? I, I guess I will let there be. Not sure what that means, or who these statues are of. Oh, it's a, a king. And uh, is that a queen? I don't know, she looks more poverty or ahead. I think when people use an or ahead message they mean there's gonna be like Titanite of some sort. Be wary of dead end. I will not. Don't you fucking tell me what to be wary of. I'm God, this is completely accurate. Uh screw that. More of the tree branches or vines, Ivy. This is all overgrown and dark, this area of the castle. It seems derelict, defunct. But it was heavily guarded by the Dragon Slayer armor, which 
Was that holding off the dragons that were attacking the other parts of the castle, or...? Hmm... There's weird stuff here. Oh, and a bonfire, which seems unnecessary, as I can see one right there. <laughs> At least I can find out from this bonfire where I am. Turns out I'm in the Grand Archives. Irina is gone. I've been attuning new miracles uh, with the Dark Moon Ring, and I went to see if she was selling anything else. I think there were some dark ones left. And she's just not here now. I do not know what has happened, but I'm going to find her, basically. So worth mentioning, this is where the Firekeeper used to sort of sleep, I guess? Sit in the intro cinematic? And in the um, the dark version of Firelink Shrine, Illusory Wall Ahead. Yeah, these messages are the same I saw there. That's where I found the eyes of a Firekeeper. That's interesting. Those, the two places really are the same. The walls overlap and everything. Right, who might have seen Irina and where ah, she went? There you are. <laughs> Cornix does not know. Carla? Ah, hello again. Thank goodness. Yes. There is one thing. Whether the no, she doesn't know. Does she have any dark miracles I haven't gotten? No. Um, Do you stay? Grey rat? You know, I was thinking about leaving for another round of thieving. Didn't you always get killed there last must be time? something of use in Lothric Castle. True. I I'm aware of the danger. That castle is a death trap. Yes. Not a single man has returned from the castle unscathed, even back in the day. Um. But I don't want to sit around and die a petty rat. And I consider myself your friend. Man. He's volunteering for a suicide run to what? Bring back more items to sell me? I mean, sure, I'd appreciate being able to buy more Titanite scales or something, or interesting new weapons, but... You know what? Enough people have died in the service of linking this damn fire again and again. Right, fine. You're very thoughtful, you are. But if you change your mind, do speak up. I meant every word of what I said. Sure. And I appreciate the offer. Goodbye. And stay safe. Where is Irina of Karim? Aegon. I missed my chance to summon him and ask him. I could go back to where she originally was. Yeah, let's do that. If she's left for some reason. Oh, you know, the firekeeper might know. Welcome home, speak. Ashen one. Forgive me if this soundeth strange. The eyes show a world without fire. A vast stretch of darkness. But tis different to what is seen when stripped of vision. Ah. In the far distance, I sense the presence of tiny flames. Like precious embers, left to us by past lords, linkers of the fire. Could this be what draws me to this strangely enticing darkness? It could. Well, those flames, that could be humanity, you sense. The abyss. Well, she is preoccupied with things which are not Irina. Farewell, Ashen One. Mayst thou thy peace discover. All right, Handmaiden, you're my last hope. Ah, Han. Oh, I've got Ash to give her. Gracious, let Iona. <laughs> what does that allow purchase of? 
I don't know because the shop is full of stuff already. Huh. You know, I've been thinking I need more um charcoal pine rosms. Let's get a few of those. Uh, maybe there's new stuff here, it's kind of hard to tell. Morn's gear. Kareem Knights. Gundir's gear. Gundir, the belated champion, was bested by an unknown warrior. Wait, what? What, me? That was the past. He then became sheathed to a coiled sword in the hopes that someday the first flame would be linked once more. You know what I think? Ashen one. I'm gonna go find where Irene used to be and see if she's still there. But you know what I think? I think Filing Shrine, where we are right now, this world, the white sky. I think this is, or aspires to be, the end of an age of dark. Ah, uh, under settlement, under settlement. I don't think this is in a world where this isn't a continued age of fire. The world of, of Lothric, yes, that has a fire that is going out. But I think Filing Shrine, the, the one in another world, I think that's the one that comes after the darkness of Gundir's Filing Shrine of the Untended Graves. I think that's... Ah, uh, no, this, this, this idea doesn't really hold up upon inspection. I was thinking, oh, they want the fire restarted, but... But then, then why also have the other world? Ah, there's something there, there's something... I don't quite know. Hmm. Hmm. Oh well. Well, Egon is not where he once was, although he's left a lantern. And arena. Oh! What's this? It's the body of. Egon? Morn's great hammer and a moaning shield. What the hell? What happened to that, that asshole? Great hammer bestowed upon Kareem knights with demonstrated outstanding strength. Decorated by a warding charm. A deformed great shield given to Econ of Kareem. The giant woman's face is that of his sister. Some years his senior, who moons. What the hell? Kareem is like such a weird, bad place. Oh, well, that didn't help me. I mean, it kind of did, but at the same time, it kind of didn't. Where else could Irina be? I'm trying to think. She probably couldn't leave Firelink Shrine on her own. She is blind, after all. So, I should head back there. I pretty much toured the place and didn't see her, except I didn't go outside, or I didn't go to the tower. I mean, didn't go outside and I didn't go to the tower. Um, there's no reason to be wandering around outside. She was training to be a firekeeper originally. Maybe she's visiting the grave of the firekeepers? Kind of a Hail Mary here. I could just look in all sorts of random churches all over the place. Maybe she'll kind of inexplicably turn up as a summon sign somewhere else in the game. The NPC quests can get pretty obscure. Like, 
the fact that to uh, continue Cirrus's quest, you have to go back to the Cursed River at Greatwood. That was sheer luck. And there's at least one quest I wouldn't have um, been able to continue if someone hadn't, hadn't given me a hint. I think, I think it's the same one. Someone said go back across Irithyll Bridge once you get into the city. And again, that was a Cirrus summon sign. How are you supposed to know that stuff? Eh. Lots of bloodstains here from the Swordmaster. It's funny that you can summon him in the other world. Nope. I mean... Yep. Irina? Oh, sweet champion of Ash. Let souls be your strength. What? Level up? She's become a firekeeper? But she's also kind of gone into a weird trance and lost all personality. Oh, let, oh, let souls be your strength. Did she come here by instinct or something? What are fire keepers? We know from the first game that they are people filled with humanity, right? They're women who are blinded so they don't see the darkness. Oh, Londor Braille Divine Tome, okay. They're blinded so they don't see the darkness and they're filled with humanity. They're blinded to keep them from the abyss which humanity would otherwise seek. Who started this tradition? The gods must have known what they were doing. They must have known they had to oppose the dark soul. I've got a new tome for Kala then. That seems wrong. Is this supposed to be some sort of apotheosis, some transcendence for Irina? Egon's dead in her old cell and she's become a fire zombie. I don't like it. Ah, hello again, yes? Ah, oh, you. Oh, I'm fine. I'll have no sniggering. Miracles. Dark Edge. Oh, that's not it. It's, um, Dark Blade. Vow of Silence. And Dead Again. Well, if I get up to 23 or 25 faith, which seems Please unlikely at this point. Unless I was to abandon my vit, basically. But if that happens, I'll learn those miracles. Man. I need to f meet Prince Lothric. I need to know more about Lords of Cinder. What they really achieve. 